Welcome to my Christmas gaming room and stream setup tour for the 2022 holiday season. We finally made it to my favorite time of the year, so I wanted to say thank you. This channel has come a long way this year and none of this would be possible without your support, so I wanted to let you guys know how much I truly appreciate you. Now for this year's theme, I decided to go with the Winter Wonderland vibe again, so let me show you guys around. Let's start off this room tour by taking a look at my desk setup. Now I have been at this setup for the last three holiday seasons and every year it gets a little bit better, but this year the biggest difference is this new PC that I built about two months ago and be sure to go check out the full video of me building this thing if you haven't already. It is currently running an RTX 3080 with an Intel 12700F as the CPU, 32 gigs of RAM, all that good stuff. And I just really, really like the way that this thing turned out, especially for this theme that we're going for with the blue and white. As for my monitor situation, it is different for this time around. I used to have two 1440p 144 hertz monitors side by side but i gave one of them away to my girlfriend my main one is still the same but this monitor is now a 1080p just 60 hertz super cheap panel and portrait mode i do want to upgrade this thing to a 1440p 24 inch monitor as well and the reason i really want to keep it a 24 inch monitor is because i really like the way that these line up together I think it just looks super, super clean. And then the other big change this time around is I have these hexagon panels when I used to have some black panels. So it just used to look really, really dark back there. But I think it just looks awesome being able to shine these LEDs up on there with the blue theme. Now, the thing that I get asked about by far the most are my stream lights. And these are unique because I bought these barn doors to add on to the actual light panels themselves. These light panels are made by Newer, and I'll have them linked down in the description below, as well as all of the other products that you will see throughout this video. Then for my stream camera, I am still using the Sony A5100 with a Sigma 16 millimeter f 1.4 lens to get that nice blurry background when I'm streaming. And I have my camera mounted on this little mini boom arm that I have mounted to my shelf. So that way when I'm gaming and I'm shaking my desk, the camera doesn't shake along with it. And speaking of my shelf, this year I have added some Christmas lights to this mini tree right in the center along with this Merry Christmas sign, a Santa sleigh with some bells. Over here we have a little mini Santa Claus and this candle with an LED candle in it that kind of flickers. Hanging above my monitors this year, I have some LED Christmas lights that change colors along with the rest of the room. For my peripherals down below, I have a Ducky 1-2 mini keyboard that I still absolutely love because of these custom keycaps that I got that let a lot more of the RGB light through. And they're also red silent switches so they really don't make that much noise. I know most gamers love a nice thocky keyboard that just has a nice sound to it, but when I'm streaming, I hate hearing a click come through the audio, so these are really, really quiet and I absolutely love it. And then a wrist rest from Glorious, and then another Glorious product is my Glorious Model O minus wireless. This is just my absolute favorite mouse ever. It's so light and it just fits my hand perfectly love the thing. Then I have my Go XLR Mini, which I still love. It makes controlling audio so, so easy. And next to that is my Stream Deck, which I also cannot live without. As for the speakers, I get asked about these quite a bit as well. These are the Kanto YU2s. They sound absolutely amazing and really pack a punch and a lot of bass, especially given their size. And all of these things are sitting on this extra large Fanatic Dash mouse pad, which I absolutely love. I've tried so many different mouse pads over the years, but the texture and the cloth of this one is by far my favorite for gaming. Off to the right here, I have my Rode Procaster microphone, which is all right in my opinion. I don't think it fits my voice the best, but I do have this really cool looking pop filter on here and it just does look really, really clean. And I have it mounted to this Rode boom arm, which honestly is kind of overpriced. It's like $100 just for this arm. For the actual desk itself, this is, 
I think like an 80 or 90 inch long Ikea tabletop. It was originally black. It was one of those super cheap, like $50 ones that you can get from Ikea. But I ended up last year wrapping it in this glossy white finish and it just totally transformed this desk and I love it so much more now. And it really reflects all of those RGB or in this case, the Christmas LED lights off in just this awesome way. And speaking of RGB lights, I have three big floodlights behind my monitors and these things are just super, super bright and you can change them to whatever color you want. And for this theme for the holidays, they are all blue right now. And then I have a Govee, RGBIC light strip so it can have multiple colors at once and it is rotating a warm white and a blue just back and forth just to add some more pop to the setup. For my gaming chair, this is the Secret Lab Omega. This cloth fabric has just been so, so awesome. It's held up for all these years no complaints. I know a lot of people say to not even bother with gaming chairs, but honestly, it's like you get one of these or one of those like $1,500 Herman Millers. And this was like three to $400 at the time. Now I think they might be around $500, but I've never had any back issues or any sort of pains sitting in this thing for long extended periods of times. These things are the real deal and I absolutely love them. Now, before we get to the stuff that appears in the background of my stream, let me show you around the rest of the room and show you all of the holiday stuff that I have thrown up. So to the left of my setup, I have a Christmas wreath on the wall that I got a few years back. Below that, I have this mini Christmas village piece thing. I don't even know what to call it, but I found this a few years back and I've always really, really liked Christmas villages. I don't know why. So this one's kind of cool of it just being all self-contained in this one thing. And then all along this wall, I have some more Christmas lights strung around the closet in addition to more foam panels and those Christmas bows in between just to give it a better vibe. And off in this corner, I have two really, really bright LifeX bulbs and it just puts out a lot of color into this room just to really give it that blue icy winter wonderland vibe. On this couch, I have this Christmas pillow. Moving on to the back wall are the Christmas lights continuing on around both of these windows. And in between is my Govee Glide light bar. And it's actually a bunch of tiny little pieces that connect together, including a corner piece so you can do some cool curves. And I have it looking like this really awesome glowing candy cane, just adds a nice little effect. Beneath that is this Christmas blanket. It's just a nice pop of green to really add into the Christmas mood. Saving the best for last, let's now take a look at my entertainment center, which serves as the backdrop of my streams. Starting things off, I have this 55 inch 4K Samsung TV mounted to the wall and I have a fireplace YouTube video constantly playing in the background. It just really visually warms up the corner of this room along with this one random gold kind of orangish fiery glow that I have just to help make it look a lot warmer in this corner. It's the only time I really break the theme and that is also one of those floodlights that I showed off earlier. Then in the farmost corner, I have this stocking hung on the wall just to really give it that cozy vibe. On top of my entertainment center, I have this fake snow that I laid down and then continued on these Christmas lights all the way around. And the snow is actually covering up a sound bar still plays through plenty strong. Off to the left here, I have this illuminated house that is just really, really awesome to look at. Throw in an extra tree, a few extra village pieces. And off to the right, I have this little mini Christmas tree decorated in a bunch of ornaments and some mini presents below and just some regular old school incandescent lights. I think it just looks awesome. And to really make all of these warm colors pop out, I have an RGB light strip behind the TV, which is in blue to match the rest of the room. And that way, these lights really, really stand out in the background of my stream. And it just looks so, so awesome, especially with the nice blurry background of my camera lens. Down in the entertainment center, I have an Xbox One X that is honestly at this point just a glorified Blu-ray player that I use to watch all my Christmas movies on. And I have another Govee RGBIC light strip that helps illuminate all that stuff blue, as well as another one under this couch. And last but not least, to top off this area of the stream room, we have the man himself, 
Santa Claus. Now this little guy hangs out by the entrance of my stream room, so that way he greets me every single day just to make the season that much better. Again, I'll have everything linked down in the description below so you guys can check out these products for yourself. And also be sure to leave a comment on what you think I should do to this Christmas room to upgrade it even more. But that is gonna do it for me. I appreciate you guys watching. And with that, I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.